Today's story is about how a single voice can make a difference. Today's themes are courage, hope, and taking a stand. Today's question is, how can you make a difference? Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Say Something by Peter H. Reynolds. The world needs your voice. Mine? Yes, yours. Go ahead. It doesn't need to be perfect as long as it's from your heart. You don't have to be loud. Powerful words can be a whisper. You can say something in so many ways. With words, with actions, with creativity. If you see someone lonely, say something by just being there for them. If you see an empty canvas, say something with your brush. If you see an empty lot, say something by planting a seed and watching it bloom. If you see someone being hurt, say something by being brave. Hey, stop! If you see something beautiful, Say something with a poem. Painted meadow, splashed with rainbows. If you have a brilliant idea, say something with confidence. Eureka! If you want to show the world who you are, say something with style. Ta-da! If you are angry, say something to help people understand. You made me feel invisible, and that really hurt. I'm really sorry. If you see an injustice, say something peacefully. No more hurting people. Peace. Inspire others to do the same. Sometimes you'll say something and no one will be listening. But keep saying what's in your heart, and you will find someone who listens. Keep saying it, and you may be surprised to find the whole world is listening. If you are grateful for being alive, quietly say something to the stars, to the universe. Some people find it easier to say something than others. I hope, I believe, I wish, join us. Together we can. I'm ready to change the world. I imagine that everyone has something to say. So when you're ready, say something. Your voice can inspire, heal, and transform. Your voice can change the world. Are you ready to say something? In this book, we saw how so many different people use their voice to say something. Each of us, each and every day, have the chance to say something with our actions, our words, and our voices. For today's activity, I want you to think about what you can use your voice to say. Our illustrator, Peter H. Reynolds, uses speech bubbles to show what the characters are thinking and saying. Now, let's get creative. Get a piece of paper and some coloring tools, crayons, colored pencils, markers, whatever it is you like to use, and draw a picture of yourself. I want you to use a speech bubble, like our illustrator did, and say something. I can't wait to see how you plan on making a difference with your voice. As always, I love seeing your pictures, and I would love to see what you are going to say. So... If you want, you can ask your grown-up to take a picture of your picture and send it to me at thegivingprojectforchildren at gmail.com and I would love to respond. Thank you so much for sharing this book with me. Let's continue to develop our love of reading together. Till next time.